was a beautiful summer's evening in Shelburne Park on Saturday night as we looked forward to the final of the RPG TV Open 600. A tremendous lineup in the battle for the 15,000 euro winner's purse with a hot favourite in the form of Balnabola Air. Surely he would be suited once again by the true test of the 600 yard trip. Let's join them on parade. And now the runners on parade for the final of the RPG TV Open 600. In one, Disco Pants for Michael Daly, John Breen, Connor Healy, a son of Kinlock Bray and Bling Bling Lola. 12 wins from 36 starts, a big starter. He'll need to lead if he's to land the spoils here. In two stories, cash out for Mert Lahey and Gavin O'Mahony, a powerful son of Tullamary Act and Droopy's Hunch. If he clears Disco Pants early, he could play a big part in proceedings. Three is McNeil, a really powerful tracker for Paul Hennessy and Carlo Reardon, the son of JT Jet and home Julie. He chased home Balnabola Ed last week. He has five lengths to find. Four is Millridge Bryce for Don Lomani, the son of Bickert and Boom and Sinon Katie. Third in each of the rounds today, but running very well, he normally stays on strongly. In five, the white flash, Balnabola Ed for Brendan Murphy and Pat Buckley, a son of Confident Rankin and Dolls Lady. He's won 17 of his 26 starts, a red hot favourite and deservingly slow. So, and out in six is all for the best. Another hugely fast galloper, this son of Vulturian Angusanthus, owned by the John Codd led HDJ Syndicate. He's ideally drawn in the striped jacket. He'll be staying on as well as any dog in the final and can certainly play a part. It's the final of the RPG TV Open 600. They're on the way to traps. Not long left, folks, to place your bets. Here in motion for the final of the RPG TV Open 600 and one Disco Pants, two stories cash out, three McNeil, four Millridge Bryce, five Balnaboo Laird, and six is all for the best. Here up behind traps. Racing, good start by four in the middle. Millridge Bryce, Balnabola Ed missed the kick. Disco Pants goes up well in second spot, but it's Millridge Bryce at a huge price. But here comes Balnabola Ed, takes a bump on the bend, and Millridge Bryce in front now. Five Balnabola Ed showing pace to challenge. It's Balnabola Ed from four. Millridge Bryce, then comes one. Disco Pants, but Ed leads on the third bend. He's now in front by a length and a half, but Millridge Bryce will come again. It's five Balnabola Ed. Millridge Bryce at a huge price in second, but to the line. Balnabola Ed did it the hard way but he finally lands the big prize his talent so richly deserves a massive run by Millridge Bryce in second I think three McNeil was running on it maybe tight for third but Balnabola Ed has done it but he made a sweat the winning time 32-49 and the result of the RPG TV Open 600. Well, it didn't quite go as scripted during the race, but the winner was the red hot favourite. Trap 5, Balnabola Ed. Second was Trap 4, Millridge Bryce, who ran an absolute blinder. And back in third was 3, McNeil. The winning time 32 49. Right, well, we're here with two very happy men at Shelburne Park after Ball in the Bula Ed, Pat Buckley. He's the white flash, but he showed tonight he's not a one trick pony. No, I, 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 when I signed charge of the boxes, we, we probably lift him my own fault. Probably lift him a little bit fresh. I started sweating because he had an awful lot of work to do. He came out, just came out bad and missed it. And uh, the, the pace to show down to the corner, the, the, the guts and determination to show it at the first bend. Like nobody can knock this dog. This guy can do it in the front, he can do it from behind. He's done it from behind in toast, he's done it from behind here. I think he's what, 19 or 26, all, all double A's. Like he's, he's, he's a great dog. Brandon, he must be a thrill to own, but this must give you an awful lot of satisfaction. Unbelievable. Like we had all that bad days. The Irish Derby, the English Derby, we had no luck there. The Kirby, we had no luck there, but this has done it all for me. Great run, missed the break, got into trouble at the first win. He showed what he can do after that. What were you thinking after five yards? Were you thinking, oh, here we go again? Yeah, I just said, he's, I hope he's not going to be one of those unlucky dogs and finds just yeah. suppose against him, you know, and it's like, if a dog ever deserved to win a big one, he deserved to win it. He's very, very, very talented. And uh, over, like, as Ian Foster said to me today, he could win an open sprint, he could win an open 5 to 5, 5, 50, 5, 7, 5, 600. It's very high, little dogs can do that. Mm. Like, he's just so fast. Mm. And uh, he showed his pace out tonight after missing the, the, the run he needs to do to get that bend is incredible. And Brandon, even though he hit the lead, you know, they came at him at the third bend. They were rounding off the final bend. He just did, he mightn't have done everything right, but he did it when it mattered. He did, and he stuck, he stuck it out there. Like, he was five, after the first five yards he was behind, after the first ten yards he was getting there. 
after 15 yards he was coming to the coming to his position he wanted to be in. So in other weeks he was two or three lengths ahead of that stage. So he held on and did his business coming home. Now Pat, you've ruled out Toaster. We're going to no doubt see him on, on home soil. Have you a plan in place? Yeah, he'll go for uh, he'll go down to Chile for the race, race of champions. champions. That's where he'll go, and he'll get probably um, with the international in our heads, and then we'll keep him nice and fresh for the derby. That's the plan. Is obviously the plan is back back here for the derby. And absolutely, Brandon. If he goes, everything goes well between now and. If the Derby's earlier this year, there's no doubt about it. He once again, he's going to be the one to beat. Oh, well, he will be. He'd probably be the favourite at this stage. But favourites don't always win. We know that. Well, they do tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's our first one though, the four. So mm. we take him. We take him whenever we can get him. Mm. We're happy. And Pat, I'll finish with you. Are you relieved as well as overjoyed? Oh, very relieved because when you have a one to three or one to four shot, you know everybody expects it to perform, expects the dog to perform, and. You know, I, I probably got, could have got a little bit wrong there. You know, I, he was so well during the week. I left him, might have left him a bit fresh, and he just charged the boxes. And uh, you'd be kicking yourself going down the road if he did. But it, listen, it just wanted, it just had to look with us. He was able to get that run down to the corner, and uh, very relieved. Yeah, well, a great night, lads. And after tonight, I think there's plenty more good days to come with this lad. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. Well done. Thanks Thank you very much. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you.